Hello. This bucket was part of a stack of buckets that I've had in my garden now since September of last year. This has been on a stack of buckets for about six months. All the autumn months and all the winter months. This is winter composting. This is from the smallest compost pile in the world. I think I've already said on a number of occasions, uh, well if you're a follower of my videos you know I have, but if you're not, I'm fairly sure I've said this, but the chop and drop on here, slowly but surely disappearing into this bucket, the worms are taking it down, the weather's pushing it down. Um, this must put a lot of goodness into the soil in this bucket. That's how much there is left on top now, as you can see, not a lot. Uh, I think this bucket has been at least, had a four inch covering on it twice within those six months and that's what's left of it. So there's only one place it can have gone, that's in that bucket. Uh, and I've already had people suggest to me in my um, comments on previous videos that if this is so good, why do we then add fertiliser to the soil when we put this bucket and this soil back into action? Why do we do that? Well, I think it's belt and braces really. I think we know that this will have done good, but we just don't know how much good it's done. Um, and so we had fertiliser just to be on the safe side. But hey, what if this stuff is all we need? What if we don't need fertiliser? Boy, that would make a saving, wouldn't it? If we weren't buying fertiliser, if all we needed was this winter chop and drop, if that gave us a good result, there is only one way to find out. Let's give this guy a go without fertiliser. Let's plant something in it, let's just turn it out, mix it up, we'll mix this chop and drop into there, um, pop it back in the pot and we'll plant a potato. And we won't add any fertiliser at all. And let's see what we get. Sounds good to me. Anyway, I'm doing it. Well, that's always a good sign, isn't it? We've got worms, we've got life. Yeah, we've got a few worms. I don't know if you're picking them up, but I am, both physically and, uh, and visually. Yeah, there are worms in there, look. That is, oh yeah, it is. I thought it wasn't one. There's a worm. Put one down there. There's a worm. Another worm. Another worm. Another worm. Another worm. Look, we shot through with worms. This is good tackle, believe me. This is good tackle. Okay. So we're not going to add any fertilizer to this pot at all. We're just going to go with last year's soil, which either grew potatoes, or carrots, or leeks, whatever, it grew something last year, it's overwintered in that pot with chop and drop on it, and now we're going to put it back into action again. It's ready to go. Come on! Okay, 10 inch water bucket. Let's do this. That's got to be two inches, hasn't it? Let's take those off for a minute. We'll pop them back on again when we fill the pot. Bob Bottle, remember, you saw this first at home grown veg. 
Nobody else is doing this. Not yet the hand, but there will be once they watch this video pop bottle. This potato is a potato called Winston. It's one that I grew last year and I set it aside. Um, I've written on the back of the ticket, no fertilizer. Let's hope we don't lose this uh, bucket because there are lots of them. How's that? Do you like that root ball? Now it's... Um, we haven't quite got into spring here yet at home grown veg. That goes over there. Let me show you. No. Yeah, let me show you that. Can you see that? It's sitting in there. Right. Pop bottle goes over it. Um, we're still not in the summer months yet here at home grown veg, so we've actually uh, jumped the gun a bit with this. Uh, but what I'm hoping to do is to keep this guy in the garage for a week or two. Uh, and then as the weather picks up, as we move into spring, uh, this pot will be moved into the greenhouse. Okay. If you haven't seen this before, I know it looks brutal, but trust me, it isn't. Well, in fact, you don't have to trust me. If you look at some of my previous videos, you'll see that it isn't. Hey, no fertiliser. Boy, if, if this gives me a good result, I'll be really, uh, I'll be really chuffed. I will. Well, imagine if you're not having to buy fertiliser every year. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Voila! Throw that down the garden, pick it up later. You can see that guy nestling in the bottom? Maybe not. Well, we'll see you in 10 days time. <laughs>